Hi guys, it's Sul Inspector here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Aeon coin. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Then I have crypto donation addresses in the description below. Any amount is appreciated, many thanks. So you might not have heard of Aeon coin, but before we go over into how to mine it, let's get some information about it, then get into mining. Let's firstly look at the price of this coin. As you can see, the price for one coin right now is around 3 to 4 cents. It has a small market cap of $18 million and a volume of $5 million. The total supply mined so far is 500 million coins. If we take a look at the price history, we can see that it's had its ups and downs, but obviously got hit by the Bitcoin fall. Now if we click on the market, we can see it's supported by many exchanges, with Binance even supporting the sale of this coin. Let's head over to the official website where we can see what this coin's about. Right here it says that it's set up by the Open Foundation, which is a registered non-profit organization. This is good because as non-profit orgs, they have to release their profits and reports every quarter. As you can see, you can download these reports at the bottom of the page and actually see where the money's going and where it's being put in regards to this crypto. Aeon is described as a multi-tier blockchain network designed for interability among blockchains. Aeon tokens are used to create new blockchains, monetize interchain bridges, and secure overall networks. Aeon assumes a future in which many blockchains coexist. In order to facilitate communication between blockchains, Aeon purposely is in development of a networked federal blockchain to integrate separate blockchains. Systematically, the Aeon network resembles a local computer network, which mediates the interaction of different blockchains, leading them to a certain standard. In addition to information exchange, the project provides an opportunity to exchange values between networks, creating a chain of transactions. So right now, they're definitely just getting on their feet when it comes to establishing themselves as a crypto to use. The main thing a crypto must do is show a use case for it to be adopted by the masses. For now, they're still developing this use case. Lastly, if you want to win some Aeon coin, then you can sign up to be part of their poker tournament, which they hold every month or so. Now we've learned a little bit more about this coin, let's head into how to mine this coin. First thing we need is a wallet to hold the coin on. On the website, if we click on docs at the top of the page, then look for the wallet tab on the left side by here. Click this, then click on the desktop wallet. Scroll down a little bit until you find the GitHub for the desktop wallet. Click on the GitHub link and then you'll want to download the latest version and unzip the zip file. Open up the zip file and double click the exe file to install the wallet. Just go through the install process and it should open up the wallet automatically after install. It should look like this. Next thing you need to do is create an account in this wallet. Once you have done that, it will give you an Aeon address. If we click on receive, it will show this address. This is what we will be needing later, so keep that open. Next step is to pick a mining pool to mine to. We are limited to only two pools right now, and these are Wooly Pooly and the official Aeon pool. Today I'm going to be using Wooly Pooly. So head over to that website. Scroll down and look for the Aeon coin tab and click on it. Click on the connection button and select your region. Next, we need to select a miner. Now, if we look at the selection, we have EWBF, G minor, LOL minor, and Mini Z. Today, we're going to be using Mini Z minor. So go onto Google and search for Mini Z minor, and a GitHub should show up for the miner. Once on the GitHub, just install the latest version and unzip the file. You should have a folder that's made up of pre made batch files for different coins. We are looking for the star Aeon coin at the top here. Just right click and edit this file. Now go back to the Wooly Pooly page and click on Mini Z as your miner. Next, copy and paste your wallet address into this box like this. Lastly, add a worker name. Then I'll show up with this text in this box here. You want to click on copy and then paste it over all this text in the miner file that we just opened up. All you have to do now is exit and save the file. Now your file is set up to run, simply just double click and it will start mining Aeon coin. You'll know if you have done it right because your rig will confirm a share on the network. It should look a bit like this. Now if you're having any struggles with the setup then join the community discord and I'll try help you out there. 
The link for that is in the description of the video. The last thing to do is check and monitor how our rigs is going. To do this, all you have to do is copy your wallet address again and paste it into the search bar at the top of the Wooly Dooly page. Hit enter and it will take you to your mining dashboard. This will display everything you need to know about your miner. Here you have your current hash rate, how much effort you're putting towards a block and the amount of time participated. Next over here you have your balance of coins mined. This is before it gets paid out to your wallet. I believe the minimum payout for the wallet is 10 Aeon coin. Under that is the awaiting balance that the network still needs to confirm. And then under that is the price of the coin below. If we look here, we can see our revenue over the past 60 minutes, 12 hours, one day, a week and a month. The hash rate chart will show you if you're hashing at an even rate. Normally the hashing will fluctuate, so don't be worried if it's down a little bit. Lastly, we have the work or rig tab, which just shows you what mining rigs are on this coin. So that's how you mine Aeon coin. If you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if anything went wrong, join the community discord.